In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. Today is Saturday, and uh, this is the last week of the Easter octave. It's the last day of Easter octave. What are we going to hear in the gospel? The disciples were commissioned to go out and preach the word of God to the ends of the world. My dear brothers and sisters who were there, we are quarantined in our houses. But remember, Jesus is not quarantined. He is still working amidst all the troubles. Jesus is still at work. So, there are many ways we have gone astray, not doing what we are required. So let us ask God's pardon. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who by the abundance of your grace give increase to the peoples who believe in you, look with favor on those you have chosen and clothed with blessed immortality, those reborn through the sacrament of baptism, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Observing the boldness of Peter and John and perceiving them to be uneducated, ordinary men, the leaders, elders, and scribes were amazed, and they recognized them as the companions of Jesus. Then, when they saw the men who had been cured standing there with them, they could say nothing in reply. So they ordered them to leave the Sanhedrin and conferred with one another, saying, What are we to do with these men? Everyone living in Jerusalem knows that a remarkable sign was done through them, and we cannot deny it. But so that it may not be spread any further among the people, let us give them a stern warning never again to speak to anyone in this name. So they called them back and ordered them not to speak or teach in, at all in the name of Jesus. Peter and John, however, said to them in reply, Whether it is right in the sight of God for us to obey you rather than God, you be the judges. 
it is impossible for us not to speak about what we have seen and heard. After threatening them further, they released them, finding no way to punish them on account of the people who were all praising God for what had happened. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. Though the Lord has indeed chastised me, yet he has not delivered me to death. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord, the just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, 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 Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, 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 Amen. Alleluia, Alleluia. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory be to you, O Lord. When Jesus had risen early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had driven seven demons. So she went and told his companions who were mourning and weeping when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they did not believe. After this, he appeared in another form to two of them walking along on their way to their country. They returned and told the others, but they did not believe them either. But later, as the eleven were at table, he appeared to them and rebuked them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they had not believed those who saw him after he had been raised. He said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today is Saturday. We are about to end the first week of Easter. I will request you, my dear brothers and sisters, to focus our attention to the mission that Christ has given us as his church. He says, go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. He commissions us first when we are baptized. Later, when we received the sacrament of confirmation and other moments, more specifically, to be the ones to go into the world to proclaim the good news. 
It is because we are not parasites that simply absorb the grace coming from God without any apostolic zeal. Our apostolic work is our payment for the space that we have occupied in this world. We exist to evangelize. Somebody said that we pray so that we can give all of the received graces back to the souls in the form of love. To our family and friends and to all those people whom God may put in our path. Pope Benedict the 16th gives us guidance too about being sent into the world and proclaim the gospel. In his homily for the conclusion of the year of the Eucharist, uh, that was 2005, he said, Eucharistic spirituality must be the interior motto of every activity. I know dichotomy is acceptable between faith and life in the mission of spreading the spirit of, Christian, of Christianity in the world. I repeat, Eucharistic spirituality must be the interior motto of every activity and no dichotomy is acceptable between faith and life in the mission of spreading the spirit of Christianity in the world. But first, my dear brothers and sisters, we must believe in order to give witness and pass on the gospel to others because we cannot give what we don't have. There are obstacles to our own living of faith. One could be our pride, like the disciples. They give little importance to Mary's words that she had seen Jesus alive after his death because she's just a woman and noted for her demonized living and above all because of their pride. Sometimes because of pride, we tend not to listen. We ask ourselves, who's the person going to give the homily today? Is so and so. Ah, uh, who is the person who is gonna give the talk, the lecture today? So and so. Uh, no, we need to go out of ourselves. We need to leave that pride which is in us in order to encounter Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters. We need always to trust in the Lord, to go out. As I mentioned earlier, we are quarantined in our houses. But Jesus is not quarantined. We need to keep the work of God going forward. We need to evangelize to our own people. We are now experiencing what our fathers and sisters went through when they were first experiencing the good news. They were in their homes, in their catacombs, praying. Are you at home praying? Are you at home evangelizing? That is our mission to go out. We have a lot of things to use to evangelize the work of God. We have our cell phones. We have all social medias. Try to go out, even if you are inside, but let the word of God go out. Evangelize. Talk to everyone. You have been in a house for many days, but have you ever sent a message of Jesus? 
to your friends, to your co-workers and other people. The word of God has told us, go out and evangelize to each and every creature. Let us now offer our petition to our loving God. For our shepherds in the church who continue Peter and John's ministry by speaking and teaching in the name of Jesus, that they may be as fearless in their witness as were the first apostles. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. That the witness of Christian prophets who proclaim the right to human dignity for all in Jesus' name may be heard and heeded by world leaders, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. That we may never hear the Lord's rebuke for unbelief and hardness of heart, but respond generously to his command to take the good news to every creature in the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. prayer. That Jesus may continue to show his power in the lives of ordinary men and women who will be recognized as his companions by their joy, their courage, and power to heal hearts in his name, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For all the intentions recommended for our prayer, for the loved ones we hold in our hearts, and for our dear ones who have entered the mystery of death, and in a special way for Joseph Capatini, Arlene Anthony, and William Fisher, who we remember with this Mass, that the resurrection of Jesus may be grace and life for them in the world ever after, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We have prayed everything through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and welcoming hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of creation, for through your, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and welcoming hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true right and just 
our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but above all, to love you yet more graciously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with the Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, Savior of the world, world for by your cross and resurrection you have set, set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy, and entire people gathered in your presence. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the, the power, power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join us in an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their faith their incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, as you know, we are quarantined in our houses, but Jesus is not quarantined. He is still working in us. He needs us to change. This is the time for renewal. This is the time to reflect what we are called to do on this earth. At your home, remember, we came to visit on this earth. Anytime we will go and meet our Lord. So, we have been like social beings. This is the time to reflect and pray. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.